All right, Schlockmeister fans, we got ourselves a French film here. It's Le Sex Shop, which is French for the sex shop. Let's watch. Meet Claude and Isabelle and their two kids. He runs some sort of like a bookstore or something. So, do you have to shop twice a day? No, but I bought new curtains. Oh, who needs new Your books look pretty bad. Each year your sales figures have steadily kept on dropping. Though I admit there's one advantage. Every year you got less income tax to pay. Yeah, well, I'd prefer it the other way around. So the business now, isn't doing so well these days. I could work if I had to. Yeah, well, I'd take care of the kids. Well, why not? I had a job long before we knew each other. Oh, no fooling. No, There's a business time. idea, though. Perfect. We probably won't even need to ask the owner's permission. You're in the same racket. Whether you sell proofs or positions, you're still selling books. Well, maybe a few gadgets on the side. Nobody cares. What's your landlord like? Well, he's got an idea to turn it into a sex shop. And business booms. The Erotic slides, them, photos, books, or marital aids, instantly. dildos, whips, chains. Once desire is born. It must be expressed to the person desired in a real perceptible way. It is also well to remember that once the moment of passion has passed, nothing upsets a woman more than to discover her lover is still wearing his socks or his undershirt. Pardon me, sir. Have you any works dealing with the fetishism of rubber goods? The fetishism of rubber goods? Yes. Ah, oh, yes, there's the rubber lover. Oh, no, I've read the rubber lover. Thank you. Oh, that's a pity. I wonder if you've read the, um, the Education of a Cherub. This couple wants to invite Claude out. Well, I noticed you too, I must say. They're swingers. I've been talking with my husband. We'd like to invite you to a dinner with a, with a very charming girl. Uh, what a pleasant thought. Even though he's married. So they try to set him up with this other woman, and they go to a swingers club, and they watch a couple make love. This is cheating, isn't it? It won't work. Why? What's wrong? In front of everybody, it just won't work. You're such a sweetheart. So they go outside to a car, and they still have an audience. Why'd you tell me a lie? At home with Isabel. I dare tell you on the phone, but I wasn't unfaithful. I love you. You're the only woman for me. Kiss me. Kiss me. So it goes to the movies. No reproachable by either partner. In this case, the man is seated and the woman is astraddle. The legs are spread apart. Again, the woman takes the active role. I only told you that because ever since that sex shop began, you've been a maniac. It excites you, huh? Doesn't it? Huh? Well, you're a pain. You and your books, your instructions. You and your pointos and positions. But, sweetheart, I... Don't you touch me! I... Five years old. He called an escort service. And that's June, and he'll be four a month from now. Really, how cute. I have to zoom way in here so you don't see your boobies. I love having two boys of my own. They're adorable. Ich komme. See, she, Ingrid, works for an import-export house. She's German. I hope you don't mind it if she comes to bed with us. She's usually tired after work. I don't think you'll mind. I don't mind at all. Ich habe eingekauft. Schinken, Wurst, Mortadella. Wo ist die? He finally got Isabel to play along, and they were going to have this game where they were pretending not to know each other and have a stranger pick her up. Didn't work out. Just let me tell you something. I am a submissive wife. If you want to hire them, that's okay on one condition. As long as you pick pretty girls and you don't get them pregnant, you're welcome to bring home all the girls you want, but you'll have to find them yourself. Wow, that's a keeper. Anyway, the first girl he brings home wants Isabel instead of him. You. 
Now they're all at a swingers club again. A simple sex act will seldom achieve its ultimate dimension unless practiced in an atmosphere of erotic research. That's the essential idea. There's only two cabins left to book and we're sold out. It's one hell of an idea. They're going on a I cruise. Think it'll be a ball. You're coming with us? <laughs> of course I'm coming. Are you coming with your wife? Well, I don't know about my wife yet. She's rather hesitant. Hesitant? I'll show you much here, it's like an orgy boat. But Claude has found himself a woman here. Now his wife is on board, and she's been given free reign to find a dude. They're gonna swap couples with that guy and his wife. But, but why don't we go to your cabin? Oh, that's enough of your cold feet. Let's go. It's all said and done, both of them got cold feet. Neither couple did it. It doesn't make any sense, I guess. I only know that my height is now. And your body? No, too. But they both think the other did it. You're revolting! Well, is that what you wanted? Are you happy now? Neither of them tells the truth to each other. Back at the shop, he finds some miners. Right, you're 16. That's why you're going to get out. Both of you. Don't you hear your mother calling? All right, police. You two miners, obviously. When I'm through with you, you wish you'd never heard of pornography. And you ain't right every dirty book you ever saw. But look, Inspector, they just walked in, and I told them to get out. They're miners. Yes, they're miners who just walked in. I was just throwing them out. Right, they're miners. Seems like a setup to me. And the movie ends with her telling him what didn't happen. Story turns him on. He kissed me everywhere. All right, let's talk about this movie called Le Sex Shop. Now, this is a movie that showed up on cable back in the mid '80s, although I never actually watched it. I remember seeing a listing for it in one of the cable guides, but I never saw it. Or if I did see part of it or something, I have no memory of it or whatsoever. But I never taped it, never anything like that. I ended up getting it, I think, in the early 2000s. I went back through my cable guides and made a list of. Um, movies I would tape if I ever found them again, and I wrote this one down, and then I, I ended up finding a VHS tape of it. Now, it is not available on DVD in this country, however, it is available on a couple of French DVDs in French language only, including a box set by this Claude Berry guy, um, but um, yeah, it's hard to find, out of print, that sort of thing, and what I did was I just simply burned my VHS tape onto this DVD hour, so at least I have an English soundtrack too, right? So... Anyway, Le Sex Shop. It's about a guy who's got this business. I think it's like a, a, a little, I don't know what kind of shop it was. I just can't remember. It was a little library type thing. But uh, it's not doing very well, and uh, they're losing money. So he decides to turn the place into a sex shop. And by sex shop, I mean he sells erotic books, uh, like dildos and, and stuff like that. And it becomes very popular. Um, next thing you know, he wants to get involved in swinging. Um, and his wife is a little reluctant, so he just goes off on his own. And um, he seems to be successful. Um, then he wants to get his wife involved. Yet, and eventually she kind of comes around to doing it, too. She'll say, okay, let's do this. Um, and then but at one point, she's still not into it. She says, you know what? Um, you can find the, the cutest girls you want. You can bring them home and have as much sex as you want. Uh, and that's fine with me. I was like, wow, that's a hell of a wife to allow something like that. But anyway, she does go out on this swinging adventure once with him. They go on this boat. It's like an orgy boat of some sort. Um, and they both pair off with this other couple. But both of them get cold feet, and they don't end up doing it with each other, although they both think that the other did. Then the movie ends with... Um, uh, they're discussing it afterwards, and uh, he's in bed with his wife, and she admits that nothing happened, but he kind of says, uh, tell me that something did. He basically wants her to talk dirty to him about something that didn't actually happen, and that's how our movie ends, so... I don't know. Anyway, uh, the movie itself is actually not as tawdry as it sounds. It's actually not a bad little comedy. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's actually not bad. Um, 
If you look on IMDb, there's a couple of uh, reviews for it. Those are pretty good, too, including uh, one from Roger Ebert from the early 70s, and he liked it. So, yeah, I mean, it is actually not a bad film. There is a lot of nudity in it, in it uh, um, a lot of full frontal nudity, so apparently this may have been rated X, although, you know, by today's standards, it would be an R for sure. I don't think there was any penis in this, although there were some naked male butts. A lot of full frontal nudity from the females, though. Um, but, yeah, um, it's not a bad film at all for what it is. So anyway, it's probably pretty hard to find. Even the VHS tape is going to be hard to find. Um, so you're going to be hard-pressed to find this if you haven't seen it. So, But I'm curious if anybody else has. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Um, the uh, actor pl played Claude, Claude Barry. Yeah, he is actually the director, too. And uh, the woman, unfortunately, she died like in 1990 at age 42 or something, very young. So anyway, that's it. Check it out. Leave some comments. It's Le Sex Shop, which is French for The Sex Shop. Watch it. Bye. I think I used that joke earlier.